Hi guys, uh, just a little video about how the Wolves low knees are getting on. Um, so um, I'm going to start off with um, the defenders. We've got quite a few to go through. Um, so I've got some uh, information here on paper because there's no way I was going to remember all this. Um, so the first up is Boller, who is a fullback, plays with Grasshoppers. Um, he is also playing for the Hungary international team and has had quite a few starts and quite a few sub appearances for Hungary. Uh, for Grasshoppers, he's done really well. Um, he's played 10 matches for them, got two goals and one assist. Uh, 7.17 average rating, average match rating. So doing really well there. I know Grasshopper fans are out there really do like him. Uh, I've seen a little bits of footage of him and he really does hit a ball well and put a decent cross in. So definitely a player that I can see potentially breaking into the uh, the main wall squad maybe in a year or two when he's got a bit more experience. Um, Sanderson at Birmingham City is there with Ruddy at the back. Um, he's done really well, to be honest. Um, he's played 13 matches in nearly every single game. Um, he's got one goal. Birmingham City fans really rate him at the moment, so he's done really well. Looks really solid in the back, looks strong. He's obviously built up a bit of strength. Uh, and he's got a seven rating as well, so really good rating there. Average match rating this season. Uh, next up is Ryan Giles, who's at Middlesbrough. Um, he's doing absolutely fantastic. One of the best, I'd say. Uh, the Middlesbrough fans absolutely love him. Say he um, he really does get forward and attack. Um, he obviously plays as a fullback, but he does get really high up, high up the pitch and put some really really good crosses in. Um, his average rating is six point seven seven, so getting close to seven there. Um, Fourteen matches and three assists. No goals, but he's not really that kind of player. He just loves assists. He loves putting the ball in the box. Um, and that's another player that I can see breaking into the war squad in the future. He's doing really well. Um, one player I was a bit surprised about, because I know he hadn't been doing that well, a bit of um, criticism against him, is um, Hover, who went to PSV. Um, he's doing really well now. He's got a 7.56 rating on average. Uh, he's played five matches, and his last game he got two assists. Um, He's starting to do really well. The manager did say that he was struggling a little bit. His training and what he was doing off outside of the pitch wasn't good enough. Um, so it looks like that was about a month ago. It looks like he's really knuckled down now and um, done well. Um, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, but Nigel Longwijic, um, who's at Plymouth, centre-back, uh, 7.2 ratings are really good. Uh, 12 matches, two assists. He's done. He's doing really well. Not really seen too much about him, but I know the Plymouth fans also are saying he's done really well. And he looks solid. So really good positive things there about um, our defenders that are on loan. Um, next up, moving on to midfield is Luke Kundal. Um, he's at Swansea again. Fans love him. He's developing really well there. It's in the Championship. It's a really good place for him there to develop as a player and then move on. To play, in the, to play for Wolves in the Premier League. He's played four matches so far. He joined them quite late in the window. He's got one goal so far and he's doing really well. Um, one disappointing one is Bruno Giordano. Um, not played one game. He went to Santa Clara and he hasn't played one game. So I don't know what's happened there. Most likely injured. Haven't really seen any updates about that. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's happened. Um, the next up's Kawabi, if you remember him. Um, Japanese international. He is one of the top players for Grasshoppers. Um, he plays nearly every game for him, he scores loads of goals, four goals, two assists, 10 matches, 7.33 rating. It's really good. He's playing more as an attacking midfielder in a number 10 position, but he can drop back and play as a central midfielder. But he plays as a number 10 and um, he just he just really runs the team. He, he's, the, he's the playmaker. Um, be interesting to see what happens to him. I can't see him coming back, but you never know what will happen. Um, Next up is Taylor Perry. He's at Charlton Town. 13 matches, one goal, one assist, 7.22 rating. Not going to lie, not seen too much about him, not seen the footage, but that's his, um, his stats. Right, what have we got next? Okay, next up is Capania, who's at Inter Miami in America. 26 games, 11 goals, one assist, 6.85 rating. Re like I have seen a lot of him, really good goals, outside of the box, really takes on well, good with his head as well, really good at headering, he's done really well um, and um, he just seems to improve and improve. But it is, the league is quite soft uh, and it's not, it's probably not even near the championship, it's probably more near like League 1 or League 2, so 
it is easy for him to score. Um, he's not up against the best centre backs, but he is doing well, and I really think they'll probably take up the option to buy, which will probably benefit Wolves. I think it's around four or five million by now. Um, Theo um, Cabuno, um, who obviously played for Canada as well, he's at Blackpool. Thirteen matches, uh, three goals, zero assists, a seven point three rating, um, and he's, he's he's looking really good. Blackpool fans really rate him. Um, he was at MK Dons, I believe, before, but he's now at Blackpool. Um, he's, he's doing really well, and I think it's another player that we can see in the future um, moving on and, and, and moving up to, uh, to Wolves and, and maybe being a part of the squad. Um, Sang Bin, who's a Japanese striker we bought, not really had much about him, only played two games, barely got any minutes, not really been given any chance. Uh, Fabio Silva at Anderlecht, probably the main one for everyone. 12 matches, five goals, one assist. He's got a 6.83 rating, and he looks stronger, quicker. He's really good on the ball at the moment. Really good link-up play with the rest of the forwards. Uh, and he seems to really improve his header in as well. He seems to be getting a lot of um, headers. Um, maybe not so much more than going in a goal, but some of them really testing the keeper. Um, and he, he's not afraid to take shots outside the box. The one particular shot I saw was maybe 25 yards out. Really hit it hard, went in. He, he's looking really, doing really well. I saw a little bit of him against West Ham. Um, he looks like he's, he's developing really well there. So let's see, might come back next season. That's everything I've got there, guys. Thanks, bye-bye.